See that guy Steve? Did he play today? He did play today. What a great round of golf this guy had today. He birdied number 11, played with the rinks. It was cart path only, so everybody was walking. Uh -huh. And he's such a young, strong, good looking guy. Yeah. He wasn't going to have any problem with that. Yeah. And uh, he had the only birdie. He uh, won $150 for that birdie and came in plus one, won another $40, won $190. $190. Bucks. What a guy. It just goes to show you never bet with that dude named Steve that offers you rum, ever. <laughs> the shot tracer, so that's where my body's supposed to be, and then we're gonna press record, and then it's gonna show the path of the ball, because it's a part five and downwind, and I just wanna hit bombs like Philly Mick. So, we're gonna do something different. But I need you to hold this, so we gotta hold it. Bill Bender, the Bill Bender Show. Back at it on the golf course once again. It's windy, but that's fine. I like playing in the wind. Downwind par five. I just bombed one 352, I think. I got 134 in. I'm gonna hit a sand wedge. We're gonna make eagle. And then we're gonna talk about this bad boy. Garrison Brothers Cowboy. This is the new release. Its color is, is intimidating. 137.3, 137.3 proof, which is intimidating. The Monster Tat, the original run, my buddy Dan Hardman out of PA, thank you buddy. A monster with a monster and a monster drive. So, before I dive into this, because I haven't eaten anything today, so we're gonna get stinking drunk quick. Uh, let me hit this wedge and uh, we'll start. Famous birthdays today, Jim Morrison, David Carradine, and Nicki Minaj. It's action packed on this Tuesday, let me tell you. Let's talk about this real quick. Garrison Brothers Cowboy Edition, released 2019. Distilled in barrel 2013. Panhandle white corn. Interesting. Aged five years in oak. Bottle 23. I don't know how many bottles they released here. Fancy, I like the packaging. The stars at night are big and bright. We're in the heart of Texas. Oh. Now this thing, I'm, I'm kind of uh, intimidated by five years at 137.3 proof. It's got great color to it. Uh, talking to me. Um, I'm gonna take a bunch of sips and uh, I'm gonna hit some more shots and uh, then we're gonna talk about it, but I, I gotta taste it first. Man, that is a one two punch knockout right there. Woo! Ho! Oh. This is a heater. That whiskey's a heater. I didn't eat anything. I went to the gym this morning so I can get a, a nice pump on, so I can impress you guys. I've lost four pounds since last week. What? And uh, feeling good, feeling good. That whiskey's making me feel good right now. I don't know where my ball went. Oh, ha! It's right in the middle. <laughs> of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Pounded. 
Philly Mick, I'm coming after you with my calf muscle game and my hip bombs game. Luscious color. Look at that. And that's all she wrote. <clears throat> well, plums and cherries on the nose. This is like faint, subtle, sweet on the front with a lot of that leather. This will hand you your ass. It's it's handing me mine. I'm uh I'm officially over the line. Oh, apparently the intercoastal is too. I mean, after the first sip three holes ago, it's still lingering. I mean, this is strong. This is this. This will kill you. This is a killer. The color is amazing. The nose is great. It's oaky because it's young, five years. You know, hey, guess what? You're gonna get some oak. Get some corn in there too. Sweet. But that back end, man, that back end, just wham! You're getting roundhouses and roundhouses, crescent overhand, crescent chops of uh, flavor on the back end. Wow. I can handle my liquor, I really can. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I really don't drink anything 90 proof anymore under 100 because if I did, I'd drink the whole bottle, but that's why I drink the high proof stuff. I, I don't know, I don't know about this. If I drank this in quantities that I usually drink, I might be in the hospital. <laughs> but it's good. Why not? It's good. Why can't a bourbon have some oak notes to it? Some oaky notes that linger. Why not? I'm not saying anything bad about this whiskey. I think it's good. I need this in my life. This is like the, the awakening that you need. Like, oh yeah, hey, you know what? Had a bad day. You drink this, you have a great day. I'm having a great day right now. You know that saying, they do everything bigger in Texas? Well, they're not lying because this is huge. I, I don't even know what kind of drunk I am right now. Does everybody know how to rake a bunker? You rake the bunker towards the hole. Turtle. Bring him to the water. The pond. Hey, bro. Fucking turtle. Where am I going? The pond. The what? We're gonna go bring him to the pond. Okay. We're saving lives. We're saving lives today. Thank you, Tetuahe and Garrison Brothers, for giving me the courage to save lives today. Judge Smales, what's his name? We release you. This is not the bottle that you bring to the golf course. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest you eat an entire lasagna before you drink this bottle. This is definitely not a bottle you bring to the golf course because I can't drive home or feel my hands right now. But as I say all the time, everybody's got their own palate. Everybody's got a different taste for whiskey. 
Some people like oak. Some people like cinnamon. Some people like fucking nutmeg. Some people like cherry. Some people like the sweet corn. It's anybody's game. And that's what makes whiskey beautiful. Now this is something that you should drink at home, behind locked doors, where your significant other or friends hide the key because this is a monster and uh, the monsters consumed me on the golf course today. This is Bill Bender on a windy ass day on the golf course, hitting knockdowns and stingers, <clears throat> long balls, downwind, drink responsibly, live dangerously. Happy holidays.